Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC computer science MCQ questions on chapter 7 introduction to C. Question number 1 Who developed C? Option A. P. Jarney Straustrup B. Charles Babbage C. Ada Lowles D. Pasklin. Here, option A. P. Jarney Straustrup is the right answer. Question number two, the smallest individual unit in a program is option A, header file, B, token, C, get ch, D, data type. Here, token is the smallest individual unit in a program. Question number three, the name given to programming elements such as variables, arrays, functions, etc. Option A, identifier, B, keyword, C, constant, D, operator. Here, identifier is a name given to the programming elements such as variables arrays functions hence option a is the right answer question number four which of the following is a valid identifier option a one name b name one c name space one d name comma one so here as per the rules for declaring identifier name so identifier must begin with the alphabet or either it may begin with underscore so here this particular name and this name and this name begin with the alphabet. Okay. So, first rule is satisfied. So, second rule is there should not be any keyword. So, here in these three options, no keyword is used and no space is allowed. So, here there is a space. So, it is going to rule out. Only these two we have to think of. Now, the third rule is no special character is allowed other than underscore. So, here there is a special character called comma. Hence, this is also ruled out. Hence, the correct answer is option B. Name 1 is a valid identifier name. Now, let us move on to the next question. So, here, question number 5. The predefined word and has a special meaning to the compiler. Option A, identifier, B, keyword, C, constant, D, operator. So, here, keyword is a special word that is predefined that has got fixed meaning and that cannot be changed by the programmer so hence option b keyword is the right answer question number six which of the following is a keyword option a person b variable c identifier d for so here for is a iterative statement and always keywords should be written in lowercase letter here for is written in lowercase letter hence it is a keyword question number seven which of the following is not a keyword option a int option b if option c c out option d wide so this v should be lowercase letter so that uh, it will become a keyword so here c out is an object which is not a keyword so hence option c is the right answer question number eight which of the following is a fixed value that does not change during the execution of the program option a identifier b keyword c constant d operator so here it is called a constant so the value that does not change during the execution of the program is called constant hence option c is the right answer now let us move on to question number nine whole number that has no fractional part or exponent is option a integer constant b floating point constant c character constant d string constant the number without any fractional part is called integer constant hence option a is the right answer question number 10 which of the following is called a real constant a integer constant b floating point constant c character constant d string constant here b floating point constant is the right answer question number 11 which of the following is a character constant option a 2023 b 2023.00 c in a single pair of quotation mark 2023 d in a double pair of quotation mark 2023 is written so here character constant means it is a constant that is enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark so here 2023 is enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark hence option c is the right answer Question number 12, which of the following is string constant? Option A, 2023, B, 2023.00, 
option C in a single pair of quotation mark 2023, option D in a double quotation mark 2023 is written. So string constant is a constant that is enclosed within a pair of double quotation mark. Hence option D which is enclosed within a pair of double quotation mark is the right answer. Question number 13, a special string used to control output on the monitor and they are represented by a single character and hence occupy one byte. Option A, string, B, escape sequence, C, int, D, C out. Here, B is the right answer. Escape sequence that begins with backward slash and one character and that can occupy only one byte. So it is going to control the output onto the monitor. Hence, B escape sequence is the right answer. Question number 14. For inserting a new line in C++ program, which one of the following statement can be used? A backward slash N, B backward slash T, C backward slash V, D backward slash A. So here option A backward slash N is the right answer because N represent new line character. Question number 15. The symbols have syntactic and semantic meaning to the compiler but do not by themselves specify an operation. Option A, operators, B, punctuators, C, constants, D, keywords. B, punctuators is the right answer. Question number 16, which of the following is not a punctuator? Option A, ampersand, option B, hash, C, curly open and closing brace, D, 3. So 3 is constant, hence it is not a punctuator. D is the right answer. Question number 17. A symbol that represent an operation to the compiler. A. Identifier. B. Keyword. C. Punctuator. D. Operator. So any symbol that represent operation is called operator. Hence option D is the right answer. Question number 18. Which of the following is uh, operates on only one operand option a unary operator b binary operator c ternary operator d all of the above so operator that operates on a single operand is called unary operator hence option a unary operator is the right answer question number 19 which of the following is operates on two operands option a unary operator b binary operator c ternary operator d all of the above so here b binary operator is the right answer Question number 20, which of the following operates on three or more operands? Option A, unary operator, B, binary operator, C, ternary operator, D, addition operator. Here, C, ternary operator is the right answer. Question number 21, which of the following is called as conditional operator? Option A, unary operator, B, binary operator, C, ternary operator, D, additional operator. Here, ternary operator is called conditional operator hence option c is the right answer question number 22 which of the following is not a unary operator option a plus b minus c increment d addition so here d addition is not a unary operator so plus can be used with any variable or constant i can write plus a similarly i can write even minus 5 so this is unary operator incrementation operator for example i can write pre increment or post increment for example plus plus five also i can write i can also write five plus plus so all of these are examples for unary operators so whenever we use addition operator we have to have two operands to perform addition so hence option d addition is not a unary operator question number 23 which operator gives the remainder option a integer division b asterisk symbol c modular division d subtraction operator so here percentage symbol that is modular division gives us the remainder question number 24 which of the following have lower precedence than the conditional operator option a addition operator b subtraction operator c increment operator d assignment operator here option d assignment operator is the right answer Question number 25, which of the following have lower precedence than the conditional operator? Option A, additional operator, B, subtraction operator, 
the increment operator d assignment operator once again d assignment operator is the right answer question number 26 the order in which different types of operators are evaluated is called as option a operator precedence b increment order uh, c decrement order d both b and c so here operator precedence uh, the order in which the different types of operators are evaluated is called operator precedence question number 27 converting an expression of a given type into another type a arithmetic expression a lo b logical expression c relational expression d type casting so converting one type of data into another type of data is called type casting so hence option d is the right answer question number 28 conversion performed by compiler itself is called a arithmetic conversion b logical conversion c implicit conversion d explicit conversion so whenever the conversion takes place automatically by the compiler it is called implicit conversion hence option c is the right answer question number 29 conversion performed by the user is called option a arithmetic conversion b logical conversion c implicit conversion d explicit conversion so whenever the user converts explicitly then it is called explicit conversion hence option d is the right answer question number 30 which statements are not executed by compiler option a input statements b output statements c expression d comments so comments are ignored by the compiler and they are not going to be executed by the compiler hence option d comments is the right answer question number 31 which of the following comment syntax is correct to create a single line comment in the c++ program option a double forward slash comment b forward slash comment forward slash c comment double forward slash d simply comment so here option a double forward slash single line comment that represent a single line comment question number 32 which of the following function returns a single character from a standard input device so here options are a get ch b get ch e c get care d put care so here c get care will uh, return a single character from the standard input device question number 33 which of the following function takes one argument which is the character to be sent to the output device option a get ch b get ch e c get care d put care so here option d put care will send uh, one character to the output device question number 34 which of the following function converts string s into numerical representation option a str cpy option b str cat option uh, c a to i and option d i to a so here option c is the right answer next question number 35 which of the following function converts numbers to a string option a str cpy b str cat c a to i d i to a so here option d i to a is the right answer question number 36 which of the following function does not echo the character on the screen option a get ch b get ch e c get care d put care so here option a is the right answer question number 37 which of the following function echo the character to the screen option a get ch b get ch e c get care d put care so here option b get ch e represent echo so hence option b is the right answer next question number 38 which of the following is a math.h function option a sqrt b absolute value c floating point absolute value d all of the above so all these three are the mathematical functions that comes under math.h header file so hence option d all of the above is the right answer question number 39 which of the following is a c type dot h function option a is alpha option b is digit c to upper 
T, all of the above. So all these three belong to C type dot H header file. Hence, option D, all of the above is the right answer. Question number 40, which of the following is not a C type dot H function? Option A is alpha, B is digit, C to upper, D paps, that is floating point absolute. So this particular function belongs to math.h header file and this do not belong to c type.h header file. So that's the reason option D is the right answer. Question number 41. Here, which of the following is a string.h function? Option A, strlen. Option B, strcat. C, strrev. D, all of the above. So here, all of these three functions belongs to string.h function. So hence, option D, all of the above is the right answer. Question number 42, which of the following is not a string.h function? Option A, str alien. Option B, str cat. Option C, str lwr. D is lower. So here you can see A, B, C. These three functions belongs to string.h header file and is lower is going to return boolean value which belongs to c type.h header file. Hence option D is lower do not belong to string.h function. Question number 43. Which of the following is a stdio.h function? Option A get care, B put care, C gets, D all of the above. Here option D all of the above is the right answer. Question number 44. Which of the following is a stdlib.h function? Option A, A to I, B, I to A, C, random, D, all of the above. So all these three functions belongs to standard library.h header file. Hence option D, all of the above is the right answer. Next question number 45. Which of the following function return true if given input is an alphabet or a digit? Here options are A is alpha, B is digit, C is alnum, D is lower. Whenever the user enters either alphabet or digit, it returns always true is option C, is alnum. Alnum means what? It checks both alphabet as well as number. So hence option C is the right answer. Next. Question number 46, which of the following function is a case sensitive? Option A, str len, B, str cat, C, str cmp, D, str cmp i. So here, str cmp is case sensitive, hence option C is the right answer. Question number 47, which of the following function is not a case sensitive? Option A, str len, B, str cat, C, str cmp, D, str cmp i. So here, D str cmp i case insensitive this i represent insensitive hence option d is the right answer question number 48 c plus plus equivalent expression of square root of a square plus b square is a a into a plus b into b whole square b square root of a into a plus b into b c square root of a cross a plus b cross b d square root of a square plus b square so here we are going to use the function called sqrt and we are going to use asterisk symbol in order to represent a square in between both of these two a's. So hence option b is the right answer. Next question number 49. What is the output of the output for the expression y is equal to plus plus x that is pre incrementation minus x plus plus that is post incrementation if x is equal to 10. So what we can do is we can write y is equal to plus plus x can be uh, read as you can increment the value of x by 1 and then use it. So here plus plus x means what? It is 11. Next I'll write this minus as it is. I'll write minus. Next x plus plus post incrementation of number always represent use the number and then increment. So here I'm going to write 10 as it is. Now this gives me what? So 11 minus 10 that gives me 1. Here you can see option B 1 is the right 
answer so that's all in this uh, video we'll see you in the next video thank you